Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you are someone that appreciates luxury fashion, then continue watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell to get notified every time I upload. My upload schedule is a bit sporadic. I don't really like editing. I just love talking to myself on camera, but. If you are someone that is not interested in luxury fashion, then this is the wrong video for you. This might insult you. I don't know why, because I'm spending my money and not yours, but people still find a reason to be offended. What a world we live in. Speaking of the world, the world is going through an economic crisis. It is also going through a health crisis and we're going through so many other crises right now, but that has not stopped me from shopping online because right now it's the safest way to shop. And this video is actually sponsored by one of my favorite brands to work with and that is ShopTagger. I've actually spoken to you guys about ShopTagger previously because it is an app that I genuinely love to use and it has saved me money and has also helped me find some amazing pieces for my wish list, which very often and very quickly go out of stock. So if you're someone that's interested in curating your own wish list in one set place and you're someone that wants to save money and get cash back on your orders, make sure you download the ShopTagger app. It's very quick and easy to do. All you have to do is download the button which goes into your bookmarks bar. Every time you go onto a website like Netta Porter, My Teresa, Luisa Via Roma, the list goes on. You can save your item save the size, you can save when you want to get notified, you can even add it to a list if you're super organized. Every time the item you want goes on sale or is back in stock, you'll get notifications via email or if you download the app, you'll also get push notifications to your phone. And every time you shop, ShopTagger will provide you with coupon and discount codes as well as cash back. Today, I'm actually going to be talking you through some of the things I picked up for spring, summer. We're going to be doing Chanel, Van Cleef, and Dior. I'll also show you some comparisons with my old bags. I just picked up two pieces from the new spring, summer Chanel collection, which I'm so excited to talk to you about because they are so cute. I had one on my wish list, and one which I did not expect to purchase, but I'm so glad I managed to find. Today is actually the first day of spring, but when this video goes up, I don't know when it will be because, like I said, I hate editing and my culture is basically the start of the new year and we like to do spring cleaning literally spring cleaning the entire house gets fumigated and scrubbed down it's a custom to actually gift each other things for spring to commemorate the new year i mean it's not much of a celebration right now no one is actually downstairs which is why i'm upstairs filming this because we're all in social isolation, which honestly is not so bad because to be honest, I hate family gatherings. Like I'm that cousin that avoids them like the plague. Let's begin with, which one should I begin with? I'll begin with the first one that I got. I'll also include some like vlog footage. You like seeing vlogs. It's just cringe for me because I go in now and I'm like, hey, well, can I just, can I just video that like two seconds? That's just a bit embarrassing. So the first bag, is from Chanel. I actually unboxed this like an Instagram unboxing. I know a lot of you guys said you preferred these ones, but some of you guys said you preferred when I actually open it up and show you guys. So that's what I'll do with the next bag. But for this bag, have a look at what I got via my little Instagram unboxing. I kind of wanted to put music over this, but I also realized I don't have any cute music to go over this. And it's so, it's not me. I do it out of like jest whenever I do do that. Like it's just I'm just trying to be cringe. And today I am excited to reveal to you my new bag. But first, check out the vlog. This is the other one, which I'm still thinking about. It's a new collection piece. I'm still obsessed with this color, but I'm not sure yet. But I really want to get this in the small size. This is the other new collection piece, which I had my eye on. But like, I feel like I've already got too many black bags at this point. Um, this is. Like, it's not the extra mini size, it's a little bigger. But this is adjustable. So you press this down and you can literally move the strap, which is such a great idea for us small people. I still need to think about this, because, like, I don't know. And hopefully this comes out in, like, a, a pop of colour. I think I've seen it in pink. Okay, so this is the square shape in the same sort of design. It comes in navy, it comes in grey. And, like, ah! um, and this is the square so cute and the price difference is literally about a thousand dirhams which is not much because the size isn't that much different but this is like the vintage square i'm so torn honestly i don't know whether i want to get the small with the little gold thing or if i want to get like the small square or like the small bag the small bag is literally like this 
I just showed you guys. And also, like, there's only one piece of this, but she's not getting the extra small size, and I don't want the big size, because I just feel like it's not really me. So this is what the adjustable strap looks like on this. I can't actually make it any shorter than, oh, I can. Can I? <gasps> I can, I can, I lied. I was actually trying to, okay, I don't know if I can make it shorter than this, but this is kind of like perfect. I love this. So if you guessed it, it is the mini, oh God, what is this called? This is the mini flat bag <laughs> from the new spring summer collection. It is the beautiful black lambskin and it's not the square shape. I decided because I already have the square shape in a vintage um, black, I didn't want to get it again and I love this mini size. It's just so adorable. Although the square mini is actually not as small as it looks. It does fit an iPhone. 11 pro max whatever this is and a lot more things this was just a bit more unique for me and i chose the black because because black is a color i wear most often and it's just so beautiful with a pop of this gold and as you saw in the vlog this is actually adjustable i did think it would adjust so much but it can actually go all the way down and went on okay even when not on I can adjust it like this. I can even wear it as a shoulder bag. Ooh, like a little armpit bag. Like so many different ways. I tried to wear it as like a belt bag, but it just, it's not working. Maybe if I attach a Chanel belt to this and then try and attach it as a belt, like it could work. But I absolutely love this. See, it comes with an authenticity card. And for this year, it starts with 29. There is a zip closure, which is where the card is. And there's also a pocket over here and then just a main pocket but that's just about it and it does fit my phone comfortably like so but there's also space for other things like a card holder my keys even though this leather scratches really easily i don't feel like this is a bag i'd wear daily which is why i was okay with it being lambskin usually i'm not the biggest advocate for lambskin because it does scratch easily and i know people are like oh you can just buff it out and just to show you guys in comparison to the other mini that i got so this is the tweed mini that i recently purchased in my latest chanel video they are pretty much the same size but they look different <laughs> i'm just obsessed with this mini size like i think this is a perfect bag for spring summer although saying that my spring summer plans are not looking so great i look like i'm going to be in quarantine but chic and quarantine um, again this is a single flat if you haven't seen the video of this then check that out the link will be in the description box oh my god that is a pad obviously sanitizer so yeah that's this bag they're both so cute i love these and this is champagne hardware you guys can see clearly i have an obsession with black bags and in comparison to the small classic double flap caviar bag this is the size difference they're like quite different <laughs> and this is the double flap so yeah but more or less the same sort of shape just a lot smaller though this is my everyday bag i can't lie this is my go-to everyday bag not this particular color because i just want to preserve it for as long as possible i haven't actually worn this one out yet i do have this in a medium and i love that i do wear that to death but it's literally nearly 10 years old and also i want to show you guys i don't actually know what this size is called but this is the other mini chanel bag that i got they're more or less the same in terms of width, height, not so much, and space, not so much. This can actually fit a lot more than this can. Um, obviously, it is a bit bigger, but this is such a cute size. I do believe this comes in a mini size as well, like this size, but I'm actually very glad I found it in this size. And as you can see in this vlog, I was contemplating getting this in the white, but decided to get this one instead because i felt like i'd get more use out of this one than a white bag although i do really love the idea of a white bag i'm like i said not the most cautious person even though i am careful with my bags i don't want to have to worry about it too much but they do have a phone holder kind of thing which i kind of like but i'm also not 
a huge fan of. Now I'm going to show you guys a new bag, but first I'm going to show you guys a little vlog footage of when I went to purchase this bag. Okay, so I've just come to Chanel and they're showing me this beautiful little mint green mini chevron. It's in lambskin, but it is so cute and it's got brushed gold, which I really do love. And then they've also got this purple, which is also pretty, but it's more of a champagne gold. I don't know, I feel like I need pastels for spring, summer, although it doesn't look like I'm going anywhere. But then, I don't know if you guys saw my story, I posted this. They had this in like a pink and they had this in a dark blue, but she's just showed me in a black. And it's kind of like the So Black collection because it's got black hardware. It's the small square and instead of a turn lock, it's got like a clasp situation. It's pretty spacious. These are actually really good bags. I've always wanted a really cute little chevron mini. Yay! And obviously today I'm wearing the black mini with the little ball, the adjustable ball. This let's see. Anything Thank you. No. Like okay, finished at Chanel. Gonna quickly pop the deal. Got my new bag. Yay! Oh, what is this lighting though? No. <laughs> um yeah, we'll check out the new collection at Dior and then probably head home because I haven't eaten yet. So as you guys saw, I was torn between three or four bags, but today I decided I would go get a new bag and here she is. I'm still debating whether to do Instagram-y kind of unboxings or just unboxings like this. I don't know what you guys like, but let me know. And I actually asked my sales assistant to wrap this before I got to the store because I honestly, I just wanted to be in and out as soon as possible. Given the current situation, it's not great. So here she is. Oh, they actually wrapped it and then I was like, actually, I need to see the bag before. So the sales assistant unwrapped it for me and then showed me the bag and then rewrapped it. But we're, we're still on the winter packaging. I don't know why, but we're still here. I'm not complaining, to be honest, it's quite cute. I hope the color translates onto camera because it is honestly so beautiful. And here she is. This is my beautiful new mint green chevron mini. The main reason why I decided to go for this one over the purple one was because this one actually has this beautiful brushed gold hardware. Although the purple is so stunning, like honestly so stunning. Every time I look at it, I'm like, wow, I love that. But it's just not a me color. This green is beautiful. Like I can see myself wearing this throughout summer. I feel like it just goes better with my outfits like I'm more of like a greeny kind of person and I feel like for spring green is great green is the color of money it's an awful joke um so yeah I decided to go with the brush gold because I do as you guys know if you follow me I am obsessed with yellow gold I just love it so much and I feel like I get more use out of this so this is again the mini size they are both the same tiny little bags but this is the classic quilted print and this is the chevron print i don't actually own a chevron bag anymore and like i said because it is spring we have done spring cleaning so anything that i've not decided to donate to charity i will upload onto my depot please don't ask me for free chanel bags because the world is not that nice of a place okay no one just does that like who, like, does, who that? does that single flap beautiful little bag again it's got the it's still got the plastic on the wrapper. I'll take that off now. I mean, the gold kind of looks dirty, but I'm kind of here for it. Do you get what I mean? Like it looks like it's tarnished, but also not complaining hugely. And inside there is the authenticity card. This is actually a 27 bag. So I don't think this is from the new collection because all the new collection bags, let me just check actually. This is 29 this is 29 the first few numbers kind of dictate well the serial code kind of dictates when the bag was produced this is 29 as well what are you 
29.5. Those are 29.7. These are, this is a 29.5. One other issue that I have with lambskin, again, this is lambskin, is that this creases like Air Forces very badly. It's fine. This is going to be a little novelty bag of mine, which I'll be wearing with a lot of white and a lot of black and a lot of... It's just a nice pop of colour. I do love a good pop of colour. I'm definitely going to be buying some more little mini bags because they're so cute. On the topic of green, funnily enough, everything in this video is green. I did a little shopping down in Dior. This was something which I had seen, I thought were really cute, but wasn't sure whether it would go well into my wardrobe. But then once I tried them on with this outfit, I was like, you know what, this is an outfit I very often wear. These would be perfect. I do love Dior shoes. I think they're great. They're very elegant, very easy to wear. I do have a lot of flats. My mum is the kind of person that collects the kitten heels. And my sister and I tend to alternate between the flats and the high heels because I'm not a kitten heel person. I'm five foot. It looks very strange for someone of my height to wear kitten heels. It's just, personally, I find that shoe insulting. Like the heel is just insulting. Oh my goodness. They actually look more gray. So these are the new collection Christian Dior heels. They are so stunning. They are very gray. Although in the shop they looked kind of sagey green. And I genuinely thought that they would match this bag. I mean, it's not a bad mix, gray and green, but it's not exactly the same. Actually, I'm kind of glad they're gray and less green because it goes with a lot more. And it would probably go really nicely with my gray Chanel bag. Actually, let me go get that. I need to make sure. Oh, oh. On camera, it doesn't look so bad, but in person, it doesn't look so great. But actually, to be fair, I think an exact match is just not, it's just a bit of an overkill. So this is kind of cute. Choose to match the bag. That is my new thing. Well, I thought this was gonna be a very green video, but it's turning out to be not so green. I was about to end this video. I actually, in fact, did end this video, but then I realized there's another pair of shoes which I actually bought last week and forgot to unbox from Dior. So I thought I'd just include that in this video because it's relatable and I don't know when I'm next gonna be filming an unboxing like this again. So here we have another pair of Dior shoes which I actually, I think I showed you guys in the vlog where I went shopping with my mum, if I'm not mistaken. In the video, we went shopping prior to corona becoming a pandemic, so that is what happened. But I forgot to unbox these, and I just fell in love with them when I saw them. I've always loved Dior shoes, and I'm just really loving these in particular. I think they're just like the most perfect pair of black heels for like a very understated kind of look and they can jazz up a boring outfit. They've got these like rhinestone kind of detailing thing, the Jadior. It's got a mesh kind of toe. But what I love is how it doesn't show toes, like toenails. I obviously, like you guys know, I just wear red nail polish on my hands and feet. So when my like red toenails show, I just think that's so gross. Like honestly, I just hate feet i love mine i just don't want to see anyone else's i feel like i just want to be like sympathetic to other people that are like me out there that don't want to look at anyone else's feet so i feel like this is just great so these are what the shoes look like on super elegant the heel's not super high either i would just i would do a filming a little walk around stuff but just i'm not bothered right now i love them they're kind of like the gian vito rossi's in the sense that they're like half open half knot with the mesh as opposed to the plexi kind of plastic but they're a bit more elegant i feel like the gem beaches are becoming very basic now and as much as i love mine as comfortable as they are i wanted something a bit more i show you what the other ones look like on correctly because i didn't do that honestly in the store they looked green <laughs> Worst YouTuber award goes to. These are very comfortable. They are actually the highest heel height, but they're very comfortable. Even though it's not going as green as I would have liked it to be, the next piece I know for sure is definitely green because it is in fact malachite. 
If you know, you know. I'm having a bit of a thing with Van Cleef right now. It's a bit of a love affair. Chanel's my main bitch, but Van Cleef, that's my side hoe. I love her, can't lie. Today, let's have a look what I got. Oh, I got another coffee table book. Great, you can never have too many of these. One for Dubai, one for London. Woohoo. I actually I'm going to show you guys a little shopping vlog before I get into the unboxing. So these are the two that I'm looking at, the green and... Is this yellow gold? It's yellow gold, yes. But in uh, rose gold as well. Do you have the tiger eye one? Oh, yeah. Yeah? So I can just remember this too, right? Mm -hmm. They've also got blue, but to be honest, I'm not a blue person. And this one matches my necklace, but... I have enough rose gold on right now. Oh, it looks nicer in person than it. Yeah, okay, let's go for the green. I like that one, darker. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's different shades of green. This is the first one I saw. It's a slightly light one, and this is a different one. Nice. That's quite nice. Let's go for this one. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I've just given my new bracelet to get resized, and they're gonna do it now. My first bracelet took two weeks, but today it's taking two minutes. Yay! So we got here gold. Mm -hmm. so we're going to give it back to you. So anytime if you, will, if you want to just add something. If I gain weight. Yes. <laughs> well, I can put it on now. Yes? Well, yeah. Just to do it. Should I put it on this one or the other one? The full collection of Alhambra. So beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. So I decided to change it. I think it looks a lot better on this hand. Yes. Yeah, it looks better. I see. No, um, here looks better. This looks like a yeah. flag. <laughs> Yay! I honestly couldn't wait to just put it on, but it looks so nice. And obviously, I've got all the stuff to go. Oh my god, I nearly just walked into that. Okay, so when you buy a Van Cleef bracelet, you get a travel pouch, you get your receipt, tax invoice, great, and you get an authenticity pack basically certificate of authenticity which is in here and as i've mentioned previously i like to keep all my certificates my boxes everything together in one place so it doesn't get lost here we go 19th of march blah 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 you've already seen it so there's really no point in me showing you guys it in fact it's not even in there here she is my new van cleef malachite bracelet and as you guys saw because the malls are dead and not many people are shopping, the jeweler was free and he was able to do my resizing within that hour, which was amazing. And I've decided to actually keep my Van Cleef bracelet on this hand. Although I decided I wanted to keep all my bangles on this hand, I feel like this is just the perfect pop of color on this arm. Where I might just add the gold one onto this one if I get that. So far, I am in love. I honestly cannot stop looking at it because it is genuinely so beautiful. The colors are just stunning. Loving my current stat situation. And my sister thinks it looks tacky as hell. She's like, what are you doing? You look like a gypsy. But that's just my style. Like no one's asking you to wear it. I just love having everything on. I feel like it looks nice and that's all that really matters. She says I look like Lord of the Rings or a gypsy, but... Actually, I just want to say this is a very sensitive stone. I actually have to take this off every time I shower. I have to avoid any contact with water. That basically concludes my video, guys. It was a bit of a long one, but if you made it through, congratulations. You won absolutely nothing. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you want me to separate the vlogs from the creative content unboxing videos. I did actually want to include something that I picked up from the sale because as I mentioned, ShopTagger, wow, you saved me so much money. And also, even though we are in an economic crisis and the general world need crisis, everything is on sale. Like so many things are on sale. So if you guys are interested in shopping the sales, make sure you hit them up now. There could be potential price reductions as well on new items. So make sure you add that ShopTagger button add those items to your wish list and track those sales and save yourself some coin. There is a link in the description box down below as mentioned. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and tap that bell for notifications on my next upload. I will see you guys in my next video.